All right, guys and gals, we're going to show you this 2006 Ford E250 cargo van. And it has 140,000 miles on it, a little over 140. It's got the 5.4 liter in it, which is Ford's best motor. Has the backup system. This is an old charter, charter communications van. Not old, it's a 2006. And it runs like a charm, runs great. Uh, as I said, it's got the backup system, so when you put it in reverse, it beeps. And it has some good cabinetry, steel cabinetry, very expensive cabinets inside. We'll show you that here in a bit. The interior is pretty darn clean. Got a couple of rips in the seat here. Little spot right there, right here, but they could be sewed up if you wanted. AC, heat works great. It's got the two-way radio already in it. So there's two holders for the two-way radios. The antenna's on the top. Has the cargo door. Has the sliding work table so they can you can do your writing on this as a table and a storage. And it actually lifts open. So there's great storage right there. Great cup holders. We'll do that right now. All right. As I said, it's got uh, some nice cabinets in the back here. You can see one sitting on the floor down there and then those up there. Has overdrive. The heat works great. We'll be checking out the AC. And uh, they got a lot of power with only 140,000 miles on it. It does need a right rear quarter panel in the very back. And you're going to hear the cabinet in the back here rattle. It has tilt steering. Brakes work decent. We'll kick her down. This is half throttle right here. Like I said, it's got great oil pressure. A little noisy with the cabinets rattling there, the one that's not bolted down, anywho. You can take the cabinets out and sell them, or you can uh, bolt the other one up and use it. All right, we'll turn around up here. Power steering works great. And I'm sure that cabinet will slide. Here we go. All right, we'll kick her down a little bit. Okay, goes through the gears great. Shifts very smoothly. Need a little fresh air in here. Like I said, it needs a new rear quarter panel. Or you drive it the way it is. Pull the, pull the rear quarter out. Uh, they had a little uh, snafu in the back there. And it has the big Reese hitch on it, so it has it's the uh, three-quarter ton. So there's the cabinet rolling over. Well, there you go, folks. We'll do a walk around here, and I'll show you where the uh, quarter panel is. It needs to be taken care of or pulled out and drive it the way it is. I got a Rottweiler coming out meeting me here. All right.
Like I said, the heat works phenomenally in this, as does the AC. And this is at an idle. Got some good plug-ins here. Like I said, it's got some great cup holders. The passenger seat is really nice. And it's got storage down below there as well. So let's take a look at the, and it comes with multiple keys. One, the best key here is the one that works the best in the ignition. So let's take a look. The door panels are beautiful on it. It is not a rust bucket by any means. It's very clean. Does not have those center cap, uh, center cap hubcaps for it, but uh, you can get those. But here's the quarter panel you need to, you can pull that out. And if you got a body guy that can pull that out, hook on it, uh, wrap a chain around it or whatever, pull that thing out and beat it out there so it looks good or just replace it. Uh, you can buy these rear quarter panels right here uh, online and they're pretty cheap. I was surprised how cheap they were. So there's the big hitch and the backup sensors. Take a look in the back door. All the doors work, the locks all work. Here's the cabinet that flipped over. This one here can be, but this is the one up here. There's some aluminum cable, big aluminum cable in here that we're just gonna leave in. But like I said, the doors all work great. Already has the hitch on it, so you don't have to monkey with that. These, you can price these out right here. You'll get an idea what these are worth. These are not cheap. Either is this shelving here. But there's the aluminum cable back there. But these have, uh, and there's more dividers in, down in here. And they work great. Sliding door works awesome. And here's the passenger seat. Very clean. For a work truck, it's mighty nice. And you can see it's not a it's not a rust bucket by any means. The rockers are not all rotted out. Just replace that quarter panel and you got yourself a nice van with the right motor, right transmission, and the right mileage. Good luck, folks. We'll go to highest bid. Bye-bye.